tied up here on the far wall. Here is Fricks. Fricks, nice moves. Nice shot coming by way of Fricks to Fultz. And that breaks the goose egg. Jason Fultz gets his first for the Flames. And it was a good job by Fricks showing the move and a quick feed. So it comes by Fultz here on the near side. As he was able to just beat Huff, who was caught, unfortunately, not able to be sound positionally. A great individual effort there by Fricks, but West Virginia just kind of di didn't play the body like we just mentioned a minute ago and let him walk in and, and make that great feed to Fultz with a great shot to bury it. Fultz, or Fricks rather, to Bartell, and that one finally finds its way to the back of the net. Took some time to triple in, but Matt Bartell finally gets the power play marker. Yeah, great feed there. Kind of a similar play to the save that Jake Huff made at the beginning of that power play as the puck kind of went across the seam a little bit and Bartell made no mistake on that one. Excellent job by LU. As it Making no mistake indeed, getting into this one. Now, not even 10 minutes into the game, already up 2 nothing. As the Flames, excellent job by them. Working it around, and you see the cycle game here. Bricks over to Bartell, and boom, just tried to get that glove on it. Was Huff, but unable to do so as he got beat, and boy. Brett McGibbon talked about it last night, as that seems to be the one linchpin in Huff's game. As an opportunity, taking it high, glove side, Chris Bladen. Bladen showing off the hands, and we were talking about him, one of the hardest workers, it feels like, at times, as an extra pep in his step was Bladen this season. He gets awarded now for his second goal of the year. Yeah, great individual effort by Bladen there. Break in past the defenseman and tucked it in, glove side high. Great start for the Flames here, Pat. Yeah, it really is, and yeah, making it off that far post on the glove side. A great poke check, excellent job by Jurico. Bladen. Feathers it, nice pass by Bladen, and boy, that one gets stuck in the back of the net as a streaking Joe Clark. It makes it 4 nothing LU. And when it rains, it pours. Excellent job and patience by Bladen. He's the one that had the zone entry and then he waits for a streaking Clark off of a fantastic pass. As I said a moment ago from Bladen. And the Flames now up 5-0. Yeah, it was a great job by Chris Bladen there to realize that he was kind of alone on that entry and post up along the half wall and wait for help or chances for themselves. They really have and done an excellent job. And now here's an odd man West 3 on 1. Bolts over to Berezowski and he connects. 5 nothing LU as the big D-man is able to add on to the scoring off of a great feed from Fultz to Berezowski. And Huff, unfortunately, a brilliant effort last night. Tonight, not the start he was hoping, as he said. Fultz using that speed over to Berezowski and makes no mistake. Getting the big man now, another marker on the season, which I'm not mistaken, his third goal of the year. Great feed by Fultz there. And he still continues with the physical element. Here's Fultz. Fultz now takes it wide. Excellent opportunity, but can't, but can't finish. But able to find Fricks, who can. Josh Fricks. Excellent job. As we said, Fultz came in with a ton of speed. He's able to get his own puck back. And the Flames continue the bleeding. Now make it 6-0. This one courtesy of Josh Fricks. Great feed by Fultz here and an unreal finish by Fricks. But I don't think Huff ever really got established back in his net completely after that initial rush by Fultz. Kind of got knocked over and, and didn't have a chance to get upright and, and ready to track that puck the way he wanted to. He established their cycle game and moved the puck low to high. Created a, got a lot of looks off of that. Defenseman coming in off the blue lines to create chances. And as we're talking about it, we see another one. Talking about chances, Olsen now 
He's the one off of a great feed. And you were talking about it, Christian. Basically, must have been hearing you up there. Cycle game was working well for the Flames. They take the puck deep and then easily play for Clark to Olsen as everyone's caught puck watching. And Olsen, he gets behind the defense for an easy tap and goal. And a great look by Joe Clark there on that goal. And shot. As we see, Flames still maintaining. Here's Lauber. Lauber has tons of room and space walks in. And now finding the back of the net is Swanky. Eight nothing LU. DJ Schwenke off of a fantastic play by him. And you like to see that, right? LU knows they're winning by much. Don't do the celebration line or much of anything. But yeah, Lauber had so much time and space. He walks in with the initial shot. And the rebound is there. And Schwenke is able to just get it past Huff as he's out of position. And now, as I say that, finally break into the zone. But here's Schwenke, able to hold on, he has a man to beat, and he does! Short-handed finish by DJ Schwenke! And moments like that are just so detrimental and killers for the opposition. Off of a great play by Ottenbright, gets it up to the man, and Schwenke showcases his speed on the PK. To make it 9 nothing. As we're starting to see a lot more open ice hitting. Hopefully it doesn't get too crazy. As an opportunity, though, happens for Olsen. The hitting might not get crazy, but the goal scoring is still on fire for LU. Olsen gets his second of the game off of a great breakaway finish. As now, excellent job by Olsen, taking that puck wide, protecting it. He's showcasing that speed, and he beats not only Huff, but also Grotta, as he now makes this a double-digit lead. LU comes away with this one, commanding 10-0 victory, and a clean sweep, outscoring the Mountaineers 19-0 on the weekend. Yeah, excellent weekend defensively for the Flames. Uh, Cedric Crozier and Tyler Myers both posting shutouts. It was a, a solid team effort in front of them. And uh, scoring by committee was really a nice thing to see for the Flames as they move forward into the next semester being ranked in the top five in the nation. Scoring by committee indeed. Last night when they won nine nothing, seven different goal scores. Here tonight, eight different school scores when they won 10 nothing. Well, that'll do it for the fall slate of games. Um, as Christian Garland and I'm Pat Strawn saying so long for Lynchburg, Virginia. The final score is 10-0 for the Liberty Flames. All games are airing on the ESPN network, streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.